Thank you. 
I'm the director of quality and CSR of World Confederation of Businesses and on behalf of the world of directors and the staff, I want to welcome you to the, the BIS Hybrid Awards. We're excited to be here at last. Almost two years we can meet face to face once again to share this new era of the BIS. Last year 
we explore virtuality with the virtual recognition meetings and the work of virtual summit, and we closely learned its benefits. For that reason, this year, we decided to introduce a hybrid experience. And this award ceremony and all the on-site activities that we have enjoyed in the previous days have the virtual part. This award ceremony can also be enjoyed simultaneously, virtually with our virtual platform that you can, uh, your, you and your stakeholders can visit. The URL is www.thebizhybrid.com. Access and discover that what we cre have created for you. We want to start this ceremony by thanking Qatar Tourism for their support. For Welcome this to event. WorldCop, you the have international been the business association that ever. promotes business and we are development around the world. Here in a the World Confederation of like Businesses Doha. was founded in Houston, sure Texas in 2004 that this won't be with the, the primary first, mission to promote a socially responsible business culture also, that will motivate thank and stimulate Qatar leading Airways companies with business with excellence guests. recognition. We and promote finally, networking with the goal of generating business relationships and agreements among Signature the members Global of the organization. Today, more than 3,500 companies from throughout the globe have joined WorldCop and its primary mission, Tonight, reaching more than 120 countries and making use of one of the world's world most important business associations. WorldCop is an active member of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, of a gold community of member of the Global Reporting person, Initiative, a successful business person, uh, a business leader, an entrepreneur. And for all of that, you are a beast winner. So please, the first applause of the night is for you. Please. Congratulations. This is an excellent opportunity to show the world that you are a beast winner. So for that, I invite you to share these special moments on social media by using our hashtag, beastwinner. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, as at the Biz Awards, and tag us on your photos of this evening, please. Uh, you can also invite your stakeholders to watch this award ceremony live in the, on the internet at www.thebizhybrid.com. Uh, the the also, our YouTube channel, Workup, and also on our Facebook page at the Biz Awards. This evening, we have honored with the presence of special guests. We have high representatives of Qatar tourism. We have also high representatives of Qatar business events. And we have two special guests. Well, I thank for them for joining us. Uh, His Excellency Arman Kairatuli Isagaliev, uh, ambassador of Kazakhstan to Qatar. And His Excellency Mr. Baisan Kazmin Kamsin, Consul of Kazakhstan in Qatar. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, our elite members from around the world get together to be recognized with the bees because every single one of you has become part of the work of family. So let's take a moment to watch our institutional video. Welcome to WorldCop, the international business association that promotes business development around the world. The World Confederation of Businesses was founded in Houston, Texas in 2004 with the primary mission to promote a socially responsible business culture that will motivate and stimulate leading companies with business excellence recognitions. We promote networking with the goal of generating business relationships and agreements among the members of the organization. Today, more than 3,500 companies from throughout the globe have joined WorldCop and its primary mission reaching more than 120 countries and making use of one of the world's most important business associations. WorldCob is an active member of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, a gold community member of the Global Reporting Initiative, and a participant of the UN Global Compact. Our success is based on the activities we do to promote and encourage our members through programs like the Biz and WorldCob CSR. Both initiatives were created to recognize and award outstanding business people, not only for their commercial value, but also for their contribution to the community. WorldCob CSR. We promote corporate social responsibility through free international workshops, and the WorldCob CSR standard sets the requirements that a company should have to be recognized for their corporate social responsibility policies. This standard was created by WorldCob and reviewed by the British Standard Institute. Approximately 500 companies have been certified through this standard. The Biz. This business excellence recognition is granted only to the most outstanding companies in the world. 
The companies that receive this award become an elite member of the organization with benefits such as awards and honorary titles, marketing and publicity, the opportunity for new business ventures. The WorldCob communications team provides the tools and the guidelines in order to maximize the benefits of becoming an elite member. Business Directory, biznews.info, Expo Biz. With the Biz and WorldCob CSR, we have organized more than 100 events in cities such as Dubai, San Francisco, Mexico City, Amsterdam, Las Vegas, and many more. We want each of WorldCob's members to continually strive for business excellence. For over a decade, WorldCob has promoted business development, motivating and supporting our members to help them achieve their goals and objectives, connecting and promoting business integration. At WorldCob, we are proud that you are part of this amazing family as we continue to inspire and motivate each company to achieve the greatest success. The best signature in Houston City, Texas, was the last ceremony we celebrated this year. And in just a few minutes, our founder and president, Jesus Moran, will announce the host cities of the Bees Eurasia and the Bees Americas that will be held in 2022. I know all of you will be thrilled to find out which cities have been selected. And now I want to, on behalf of the World Confederation of Businesses, I want to thank all the media representatives also, as well as the online viewers uh, from our platform and our Facebook page who have joined us in this magnificent gala. Don't forget, this ceremony can be viewed worldwide at www.thebizhybrid.com and our, uh, on our Facebook page at The Biz Awards. If you're watching the ceremony uh, live via streaming, please tell us uh, from where country you are, which company are you cheering for? We would love to find out. I want to greet the board of directors of WorldCop, the president and co-founder of WorldCop, Mr. Jesus Moran, Mr. Michael Belido, vice president, the director of corporate image, Kelly Tarabay, the director of international relations, Mr. Nascolas Cafaro, and of course, Nancy Branger, director of human development. Also, I will ask to ask you for a big applause to the Dr. Ahmed Salahuddin. He is our African ambassador and he is also with us tonight. Thanks for joining us. And I want to take this opportunity also to thank Nancy. She's not here with us, but she has prepared the fantastic workshop that we have held for our BIS winners this morning. It's undoubtedly an excellent opportunity to learn more uh, about networking and the power of recognition. Thank you for being our maestra, Nancy. Like I have done over the years, now is the moment to have the pleasure to welcome the president and co-founder of WorldCop to the stage, my dear friend, Jesus Moran. All right, thank you, Danny, and uh, good evening. So everybody, good evening to the representative of Qatar Tourism, uh, Qatar Business Events as well. And good evening to all our World Cup members. I see familiar faces, friends, uh, Dr. Ragavant, uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, Alexander, you know, and all, all the, I don't want to name uh, everybody, but because, um, uh, you know, and, and in, uh, in terms of what uh, World Cup has gave us in terms of friends, family, uh, with because you know, we always consider our members our, as uh, our own World Cup family. Uh, also, we wanted to uh, greet uh, our best uh, winners, of course, that also we, uh, are watching, that are not here, because they're also connected uh, to our platform uh, and our, now the best hybrid, right? And uh, good evening to the hundreds of viewers participating us also like, through that platform as well. Uh, to all of you, welcome to this marvelous city, Doha. I'm thrilled and excited to finally give a welcome speech like we used to. It has been so long since I'm not standing on the stage having this fantastic opportunity of doing a welcome speech, like three times a year, always uh, one event in, in Europe, one in America, one in, uh, in, in the mayor sector. But it has been so long. The last time I did this, you already noticed this, right? I had hair. But now, right, it's, uh, it's in two years from now. So yeah, <laughs> we changed that. So, but on a more serious note, the pandemic was a big challenge for many of us. 
and we know this, of course. However, I can proudly say that we are up to that challenge. Conquering that challenge brought a significant change for us, since as you might already understand, the BIS Awards has upgraded to the BIS Hybrid Awards. As you might know, we have been very active through the pandemic, so we have organized several virtual events, such as the World Cup Members Reunion, uh, you know, that was something spectacular, uh, managing with avatars and getting together members from, you know, 2004, 2005, uh, 17 years ago, from 17 years ago. And so also our World Cup Virtual Summit, had, we have more than 10,000 business people connected in our Six Connect platform back then in December uh, of last year. And we organized also webinars. Uh, we had um, biz webinars uh, of uh, practice, practicing, business, uh, practice, practicing business excellence in the financial sector, practicing business excellence in the insurance sector as well. Uh, we have, of course, CSR webinars for all the Latin market. And uh, our, of course, our own individual virtual recognition meetings that I know that somebody, some of you already also uh, receive and we already have enjoyed uh, with us. And obviously we learn a lot through all of this and we all discovered different benefits in virtual events, benefits that we still wanted you to have. For example, one important, uh, one important thing of virtuality is the massive exposure. So in normal times in an award ceremony in any continent that we use to organize, uh, we have normally an average 300 uh, BIS winners or, or 400 BIS winners. Uh, but last year in December for World Cup Summit, such as just said, we, we have more than 10,000 participants. So also this virtuality helped other winning companies that couldn't travel for several reasons, right? For several reasons, not only the challenging ones of, uh, of immigrations, of, of etras, of, of, of any country which it has now for, for the pandemic, but uh, for different reasons. So now, you know, they are connected with us right now, enjoying also to of being uh, awarded uh, as, a biz, uh, as a biz winner. So um, this is an excellent option for them as well. So we decided to organize the biz ceremony on site plus virtual, which we call, of course, hybrid now. And the first event ever held is today. So uh, we're very, very excited, not only for because we have done this in two years, but also because this first time is historic day for us because we are doing the best awards hybrid, uh, the best hybrid awards, I'm sorry. So I want to focus my last part of this of the speech in you and your companies. As you already know, one of our goals in World Cup is to motivate and stimulate companies with our business excellent recognitions. And we certainly believe that the power of recognition and what this power does to all companies. This is why we focus so much in the ceremony so you can feel it well deserved. Not any award, but the most essential business excellence uh, award in the world. So we have a tradition to announce the following events that we have for next year's ceremonies. And today we have a representative for one of the countries chosen for hosting this ceremony. So uh, of course we will uh, invite those, that representative in, in order to, to welcome uh, this hosting city. But for now, let us invite you to see the future destinations video for 2022. Sahasan is now our destination for May, and uh, you know, a couple of months before we were in North Sultan and we uh, with Nicholas, and we discovered a, fa a fascinating destination, which I'm sure of all of the BIS winners will enjoy visiting. At the end of the event, like I said before, we have the, the uh, presence of His Excellency Arman Karituli Isagalib, ambassador of Kazakhstan to Qatar. He will tell us more about this exciting destination. In passing to uh, some sad news. We have recently lost some cherished members that we want to pay our respect. 
And uh, in the first one that we will uh, announce uh, our last is for Dr. Georgios Lakatemitis. Uh, his son Alexander here is with us, and so we also uh, pay our respect, uh, of course, to you and your family, Alex. And, uh, and, and, and sincere from all of us, from all that director, is that Dr. Yorcho will be his business right now for us, and uh, we'll remember him as well. Um, also, we want to present our respect for uh, El Tsunamides from Sunaide, also he has uh, been with us. Is Mr. Collis, uh, you know, we used to have, um, we always remind him with uh, her wife that, of course, uh, she's still, uh, with, uh, you know, she, she missed a lot, Mr. Collis, but, you know, we remember them always like the most elegant couple. Uh, they're from Holland and uh, from Ancol. And, uh, you know, also we, we will miss and we pay our, our respect for them, please, if, if we can raise an applause for all of them. So to wrap up my speech, let me congratulate the companies which are joining us um, virtually from our hybrid platform. I hope you, um, every detail that platform has, uh, you like it because we have prepared for all of you, winners, participants, everybody, you know, stakeholders from the winners as well. And our goal was to make your experience as seamless as possible. Uh, last but not least, I want to con congratulate you and your companies from this outstanding achievement we encourage you to keep in the peak of success so we can meet you again year after year. Finally, let me thank again uh, Qatar Tourism, especially uh, Mr. Christophe, Rukaya, and Harshita for an enormous support. We are sure that we wouldn't done this event with you guys, with your team. And of course, thanks to our directors uh, who are, has come, uh, Daniel, Nicolas, Michael, right, uh, for your support. And of course, thank you, Nancy. I know you're watching, and we sure miss you, and we miss you also in the workshop. Uh, we're never, you know, going to do what you know, never, uh, always does, uh, always do in the, in the workshop. So thanks also to all of you, our members, for your continuous trust. And, and we hope from the bottom of our heart that you enjoyed this ceremony and every detail that we have prepared for you. Congratulations again. Thanks, Jesus, for your words. And now, before we start the ceremony, I want to give you some instructions. Uh, I hope to help you uh, when you get called to the stage. When you hear the name of your country and the name of your company, please come to the stage from my left side. You will receive the replica of the trophy. You will pose for the pictures and have your moment for the speech. After that, you will go down, downstairs and give back the trophy, replica to the hostesses, and proceed to the back of the ballroom, where Denise will be waiting for you to have the picture and the video interview. Regarding biosecurity measures, we will greet you with a fast bump, usually, and the trophy replicas will be always disinfected, so don't worry about that. You can come to the stage with or without your face mask, that's entirely optional. Well, it's time to start the ceremony, and to do that, I would like to present the winner of World Cup's Diamond Award. Since its start in 2005, World Cup has awarded business excellence in companies from around the world with the biz recognizing the achievements of hundreds of businesses that have proven excellence, perseverance, and passion for what they do. These companies have gloriously reached the peak of success and proven themselves victorious. This achievement is recognized with the Diamond Award for positively impacting both their stakeholders and their community. Their successes represent the dedication that they have invested in each project, 
reflecting a team that is ready to face any challenge, even under the most exacting demands of the current market. That is why the World Confederation of Businesses has created this award, to recognize all those who, with effort and discipline, have exceeded expectations and maintained an unparalleled path in the business world, becoming part of our family. We warmly welcome the winners of the Diamond Award. Congratulations to the select companies and business people who were chosen to receive this prestigious recognition. And to present this award, I want to call the President and Co-Founder of Worko, uh, Mr. Jesus Moran, to the stage again, please, Jesus. Okay. And I also want to call our uh, International Relations Director, Mr. Nicolas Cafaro, to the stage, please, to help Jesus to handle the trophies, the recognitions. Now, the moment has come. The Diamond Award goes to, from Qatar, West Bay, Petroleum Company. We invite His Excellency Sheikh Yassim bin Mohammed Al Thani, Vice Chairman, and Alexandros Lagatamitis, Acting General Manager, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Just a second. <laughs> uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to start by um, saying a big thank you to the organizers of this uh, prestigious event and also for the prestigious award. Uh, I'm sure it was not very easy to organize given all of the circumstances. And also I would like to say thank you for the kind respects. Uh, this year I'm sure has been um, a very difficult one for everyone and has been full of several challenges. However, thanks to the wise leadership and trust of our Vice Chairman, His Excellency Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani, and our Managing Director, Mr. Fatia Burish, we have been able to overcome these challenges. We have been able to evolve and adapt to, the, to meet the demands of our customers and also to break into new markets. Of course, none of this would have been possible with the, uh, without the backbone of our company, our employees, that without their wavering commitment, and sacrifice, we would have never been able to achieve this. And this award is a sign of that. Thank you very much. Thanks for your kind applause. And uh, now I want to present the Triumph Award video. Achieving success, maintaining the peak, beyond success, becoming a legend, and achieving glory. In their vision to recognize outstanding businesses and business leaders that continue to be victorious year after year, WorldCom's directors have created a unique recognition Presenting the winners of one of WorldCom's most important recognitions, the Triumph Award. Congratulations to the winning companies and business people who are being honored with this recognition. And now the first Triumph Award goes to from Qatar. Doha Bank, we invite the CEO, Mr. Ragaban Sitaraman, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category.
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, and the President, Jesus Moore, and his World Cup team. What a delight to be an integral part of this motivation. And World Cup has been doing an excellent job globally. And two years before, as Jesus mentioned in his keynote, we had a great participation in 2012. In fact, they hosted a beautiful evening like this. Uh, you know, globally, they are known for setting a standard, very high standard in terms of evaluations and making sure they motivate constantly business like human and enterprises which are promoting values. And their UN Compact Agreement, which today is a major thrust globally, especially post-pandemic, it's going to be a major thrust, and they have the certification, which is, again, globally renowned. They've chosen Qatar, a country of great substance. Qatar is a place to do business as a financial enterprise of 42 years, and I have the privilege of running this enterprise not less than 17 years, I can tell you. Qatar is transforming in hydrocarbon, non-hydrocarbon, the business climate has changed. And this is a place where modernization, economic progression, social progression, and the political progression is converging. Thanks to the recognitions, we'll continue to strive hard to get your excellence. Thank you once again for the recognition. Thank you. And the next Triumph Award goes to from Peru. Cooperativa de Ahorro y Crédito Francisco Bolognesi Limitada. Invitamos a Ever Ventura Rodríguez, President, Luis Timoteo Troncos, General Manager, y Giancarlos Panta Luque, Head of Administrative Division, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Permítame, en primer lugar, dar gracias al Todopoderoso, a sí mismo, a nuestra Confederación Mundial de Negocios, por este importante trofeo que es un verdadero estímulo para nuestra empresa. Asimismo, permítame agradecer a nuestro país, Qatar, por este recibimiento tan hermoso que verdaderamente para mí será un bonito recuerdo y me regresaré a mi país cargado de felicidad. Asimismo, también quiero que con la veña de ustedes dedicar este trofeo a mi país, Perú, a los más de 26 mil asociados que conforman mi empresa, a mis directivos, a mis delegados, a mis colaboradores, por su gran desempeño que han hecho posible este trofeo. Asimismo, a ustedes, también por ser empresarios exitosos de todo el mundo, a quien yo me honro de estar aquí en medio de ustedes. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Now I will invite you to watch the video presenting the Glory Award. Glory, a recognition achieved by the virtues and hard work of a select few companies. Glory, a cause for pride that honors and gives prestige. Glory, a manifestation of success, state of great progress, expanding the full manifestation of success. WorldCob has decided to honor companies that have shown their continued motivation in the pursuit of excellence with an exceptional recognition after being already considered legends. Tonight, 
World Cup presents the winners of one of the most important awards in the business world. Glory Award. Congratulations to the winning companies and business people who have the honor of receiving this recognition. And the first Glory Award goes to from Equatorial Guinea. National Hotel Ange Ondo. Thanks, thanks for your applause that uh, they couldn't arrive on time for the ceremony. I'm sure that they are uh, uh, joining us uh, through the internet. But uh, we thank the Mr. Jacinto Obono Emporo, the representative of the National Hotel Ange Ondo. And we will continue then with our next Glory Award. It goes to Qatar. SS International Engineering. We invite Suresh Narayana Devadiga, Manager Director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Jesus and World Cup organization for this recognition. I am thankful also to the Emir of this country and the government and the people. We are honored to have this host this event in Qatar. And we are committed for providing the quality services reliable services to our, our customer. I am thankful to all my customers and our employees and suppliers. Thank you to one and all. What a beautiful picture. <clears throat> and the next Glory Award goes to, from Ghana, Amenfiman Rural Bank Limited. We invite Anthony Kwesi Obin, Board Chairman and Alexander Asma, CEO, to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. Thank you to you all and thanks to World Cup for this important award and we do appreciate the effort we are putting in organizing this program. We all know how the pandemic has impacted on all of us, our lives and our businesses, um, but we do appreciate the fact that we have all been able to pull through. That's the reason why we are here. And for World Cup to continue to recognize this effort is very much appreciated. For us at Amifman Rural Bank, our main work is to support people who are vulnerable and require some financial assistance to be able to engage in business and be able to improve their livelihoods and their families. And so we are financing micro, small, and medium enterprises. 
And this we have done over 41 years. And uh, last year was our 40th anniversary. And we thank God that he has seen us through. We had a major impact of the pandemic on us because our customers are vulnerable, so they were most impacted. And we recognize the fact that we've been able to work with them to support them out of the challenges of the pandemic, and we are still standing. So for this Glory Award, it means so much to us and to our customers and to our staff who are the backbone of our business. We recognize also the leadership of Dr. Tony Aubin, the board chair, and the entire board for their direction and leadership, which even in the midst of the pandemic, they gave us the confidence to move forward and to support our clients, for which reasons we've been able to keep many businesses still alive. So we dedicate this award to our customers and to our staff. We do appreciate all of you. Congratulations to all winners. Thanks for that kind applause. Um, I know we are insisting, but it's a great moment to, to show uh, the award that you are a business winner. So uh, remember, you can share us uh, with us on social media using the hashtag BizWinner on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And tag, tag, please tag us on your photos of this night. Uh, also, to enjoy uh, the, the virtual experience uh, live, remember you can visit uh, www.thebesthybrid.com. And now I will invite you uh, to continue with uh, presenting the uh, next trophy, the next award, the Pick of Success Award. The history of humankind has taught us that it is difficult to reach the peak of success. However, it is even more difficult to remain there. The same goes for those companies who have reached the peak of success. These highly successful companies deserve our special recognition. Even more deserving of congratulations are those companies who have remained at the top, serving as an example for the business community as a whole. As an acknowledgement of these achievements, World Confederation of Businesses decided to create a one-of-a-kind special recognition, which it calls the Peak of Success Award. This award is given out to those companies who have previously received the biz. Congratulations to all the companies selected to receive this recognition. We now present to you the winners of the Peak of Success Award. So the, the first pick of success award company, awarded company uh, was not uh, able to join us tonight, but I think it's important to let you know that uh, they came from the United Arab Emirates. And it's GCC Services. So we send them, I'm sure they are following us through the internet. Thank you for your applause. And greetings to Joyce Abanilian. And continuing with the next Peak of Success Award, it goes to Portugal. Associação Dark Sky. We invite Apolonia Rodriguez, President, and Miguel Claro, official astrophotographer, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Good night. It's a pleasure to be here among the World Cup family, and we, for us, it's an honor to receive this award, but also a great responsibility because it means that we have to be better and better every year. And we want to find, thank also to our customers that are visiting our destinations. Uh, our mission is to protect the night sky, 
And uh, doing that, we are trying to show how the night sky can be a world heritage or should be a world heritage. So uh, our partners and all the people are helping us to achieve this mission. It's also this award is also for them and also for our astrophotographer. Most of the, our work is being uh, spread around the world because of his photos, his night uh, photos, because it's the best way to show how uh, the dark sky is beautiful and can bring us back to our uh, ancient memories. So thank you all for being, uh, for having the opportunity to be here. And I invited you next time you want to do an holiday uh, to go in, on Portugal to our dark sky destinations. Thank you very much. Thanks for your applause. The next pick of success award goes to from Qatar. MSI Project, and we invite Rajesh Kunat, the Managing Director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the Inspirational category. No, okay. We thought he was here. <laughs> Well, let's continue. The next pick of success award goes to from Bangladesh, Asian Specialized Hospital. We invite Salahuddin Ali, Managing Director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Assalamu alaikum Many, many thanks to the World Cup Association for giving me this award. I feel blessed to receive the, this award on behalf of my organization, Asia National Salish Hospital and Diagnostic Center, Chittagong, Bangladesh. Thank you so much all delegated. Good luck, all. Thank you, and uh, let's continue with our next Pick Up Success Award. And it goes from Bolivia. Importadora Alibol, Alianca Bolivia. We invite engineer Rolly Carlos Salas Mendez, CEO, Rosemary Salas Mendez, Executive Partner, Liliana Salazar Justiniano, Executive Partner, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Hello, good night. Um, first, I want to thank uh, God for this award. Thanks to my family, to my wife and my sister present here, to my father and my brother in my country, and especially to the memory of my mother. With faith and discipline, everything is possible. Now, in Spanish. Gracias a todos, a la organización, por estar acá presentes luego de tiempos tan difíciles por lo que hemos pasado todo. Es muy importante y nos sentimos muy dichosos ya que Latinoamérica está presente hoy aquí. 
desde la organización, gracias a Jesús y a su staff, y a muchos que representan Latinoamérica. Esto nos motiva a seguir día a día mejorando e incluyendo no solamente la responsabilidad social en nuestras empresas, sino la responsabilidad laboral, porque creciendo y generando movimiento económico generamos empleo y eso es lo que hoy precisa el mundo para salir adelante. Muchas gracias y sigan todos adelante. Dios los bendiga. The next pick of Success Award goes to From Peru Compañía Magra We invite Julie Maribel Gambini Suarez General Manager to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. My name is Julie. I am from Peru. I don't really speak English. Uh, speak Spanish. Uh, Daniel, please traduction. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Shukran. Eh, estoy agradecida con Dios por permitirme estar acá con ustedes, grandes personas extraordinarias. I thank to God for uh, allowing me to be here with you, extraordinary people. Muchas gracias a cada uno de ustedes por hacer grandes cosas, cosas en su país, contribuir con el crecimiento de su país, de su de su ciudad constantemente y crear un mundo mejor. Uh, thanks to you, because as entrepreneurs, uh, you are helping uh, to develop your cities, your countries, and to create a better world. En épocas de turbulencia hay muchas oportunidades, y creo que es el momento de cambiar después de esta pandemia que nos ha tocado vivir a todos, crear, innovar, conectarnos todos, y cada día ser mejor versión de persona. Yeah, to face this pandemic, this, this defiant and, and, uh, times, Uh, the, after that, we can uh, innovate, we can create, uh, so we can evolve. Estoy agradecida con Dios por conocerlos. Estoy agradecida con Dios por crear esta unidad y crear un mundo mejor. Si sí podemos, podemos juntos lograr un mundo mejor. Muchas gracias, éxitos para todos y si sí podemos crear un mundo sostenible, un mundo eh, mejor para la nueva generación. Hagámoslo, si sí podemos. Gracias. All, we all united, we need, united, we can change the world for better. That's the idea, and she thanks God for that opportunity to meet all of you. Well, let's continue with uh, our next peak of success award. And it goes from Ghana. Mericom Solutions, GH Limited. We invite Geoffrey Ntori Asiedu, General Manager, and Elom Kofi Putin Yo, Director, to the stage for receiving the important award in the inspirational category. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, 
On behalf of our group chairman, Mr. Enoch Governor, we thank you so much for this prestige award and the good work that you are doing. We appreciate it and we pray for more and better occasions like this. Mericom has been in Ghana for 15 years now. We are into IT. We provide IT solutions, hardware, software, to almost all verticals. Education, government, public, bank, finance, everywhere. And this award is going to give us more hope and grace to be able to do more so we can get more awards. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The next pick of success award goes to from Bangladesh, the Dhaka Mercantile Cooperative Bank. And we invite Abu Zafar Choudhury, Chairman, and Hamidul Hossain, Director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wonderful friends from Qatar and from all over the world. Salamu alaikum. This is my third instance. First one was far away from home, San Francisco. Then I followed World Cup. World Cup followed me to Kuala Lumpur. And then now to Doha. It's been wonderful being here with you all. I'll reiterate a slogan that I've been preaching for all the 20 years that I'm involved with this particular institution. Bangladesh is the mother of microcredit. And microcredit is the order of the world. I haven't seen the peak of Himalayas. Through World Cup, beside the peak of world, that inspires me. In our part of the world, we have a tradition of living together, brothers and sisters, their children, their disciples, and I'm trying to do that. In that particular way, all my brothers and sisters, their children, like as my wife, and defense officers are involved here. So since dinner is waiting, I'll, uh, I have practiced this and enjoyed practicing them. And one I'll practice today. How to give a round of applause. I was born in 1953. Mathematically, I'm 69. Nobody says I look like 69. They say 50, 45, 65. So I've been wondering why people say I look younger than my age. I do exercise. I don't abuse myself. People are not satisfied there. There must be something very special. What is this special? I asked my mother, Ma, what is so special in me that I look younger than my age? The one special thing is there. I breastfed you for a longer period of time. So if I say one, two, three, please clap. The more you clap, more your mother breastfed you. If you don't, it must be the Powder milk. One, two, three. I was wondering, do you clap like this in your lifetime? No way. Thank you all very much. It's been wonderful. Hope to see you in Kazakhstan. I was trained in Soviet Union. Early 70s. I spent some time in Iraq. Trained their fighter pilots. 
So that uh, from a freedom fighter to aviator, I became a banker. Have to hope to hand over all these ventures to my next generation. Thank you all very much again. Salamu alaikum. Thank you so much. Uh, the next peak of success award goes to from Bangladesh. Cantex Fashion Limited. We invite Humayun Kabir Salim, Managing Director, to the stage for receiving the important award in the entrepreneurial category. Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Humayun Kabir Selim. I am the managing director of KFL Group. I am from Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the second largest exporter to all over the world. And we are a lead certified, eco-friendly, sustainable industry in Bangladesh. And we do care for our future, for our art. And hopefully, I especially thank to uh, World Cup for this uh, wonderful evening and enjoy. Thank you all. Good evening. Thanks for that applause. The next peak of success goes to Brazil. Brasileiros in Ushuaia. We invite Mario Sergio Alves Correa de Barros, director, and Luis Fernando Alves Correa de Barros, director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. I speak English very little and bad. Spanish un poquito, pero mejor hablar en mi propio idioma, portugués. Please. Yo voy a hablar en portugués. Eh, queremos primero agradecer el World Cup. Eh, sin duda un premio que representa mucho para nosotros. Para nosotros es un privilegio, una honra. Por la segunda vez está recibiendo un premio de tão grande expressão de, sem dúvida, uma empresa que se preocupa com a qualidade, em escolher realmente profissionais qualificados, que são, que tem aqui, todos aqui, empresários, têm uma trajetória, sem dúvida, bastante difícil, e conquistaram seu espaço no, no ramo empresarial. Nós somos muito gratos também ao governo do Catar, que nos permite estar aqui, né, desfrutando também do seu país, da sua gente, da sua cultura, e para nós também é um privilégio estarmos aqui. Agradecemos nossa equipe de trabalho, somos uma empresa de turismo, sofremos muito com a pandemia. Então, para nós é um privilégio estarmos recomeçando agora, ainda com o recebimento desse prêmio. Então, somos uma empresa na cidade de Ushuaia, na Argentina, Patagônia Argentina, e trabalhamos com brasileiros ali na cidade de Ushuaia. Então, somos gratos. A nossa equipe de trabalho, nossos profissionais que trabalham duro, nossos familiares, nossos clientes, que, sem dúvida, nos permitem estarmos aqui. Só viemos eu e meu irmão, sócios e diretores, dois outros não puderam vir, mas, sem dúvida, o Peter e o Jefferson também estariam aqui representando a empresa. Muito obrigado a todos, 
Somos muito gratos, é um privilégio estarmos aqui e, sem dúvida, que cada um de nós possamos continuar trilhando esse trabalho com êxito, sempre com muita ética, muito profissionalismo, para que cada um de nós possamos alcançar o caminho do sucesso. Estamos muito felizes, queremos dizer thank you, muitas graças, obrigado e... Chocrã! Thanks for your applause. We will continue with our next speak of success. And is from Ecuador. Fonsecarc and Tech. We invite Oscar Hernan Fonseca Perez, CEO, to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. Muy buenas noches a todos ustedes. Primeramente quiero dar gracias a Dios por tenerme aquí en este lugar tan especial, con gente muy especial, con gente extraordinariamente especial. Agradecer a World Cup por este reconocimiento muy importante para nosotros que nos va a motivar a seguir adelante comprometernos con el servicio social. En el Ecuador necesitamos trabajar extraordinariamente para sacar adelante nuestro país, como también necesitamos trabajar extraordinariamente para sacar adelante todos los países y siempre con responsabilidad social. Un saludo especial para mi familia, a lo lejos, a mi equipo de, de trabajo, que son mis hijos. Tengo tres hijos arquitectos que me apoyan en este proyecto, en este gran sueño de poder dotar de vivienda de interés social digna para nuestros pueblos. Quiero saludar también, si me permiten, a toda mi familia, en especial a mis hijos Alejandro, Carolina, Diego, como también David y Lisbeth. Un caluroso saludo y este premio lo recibimos con mucho orgullo para mi país Ecuador y esperamos que ustedes algún momento lo visiten y disfruten también de las maravillas que tiene Ecuador para ofrecerles a ustedes. Muchísimas gracias. A todos ustedes. Gracias. So far, we have awarded the winning companies with the Diamond Triumph Glory and Peak of Success Award. So, uh, congratulations for that. We will continue insisting to communicate that you are these winners. Communicate uh, is today is absolutely important, especially good news like this. So <clears throat> now we want to take a moment for a very special presentation. As an additional benefit for our elite members, we invite to the stage the group CEO of Signature Global Real Estate, Dr. Ahmed Salahuddin, to give us a special keynote. Welcome, Dr. Salahuddin. Let's receive him with an applause, please. Thank you.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بإسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين distinguished guests the honorables the organizers members of world cup family first and foremost i greet everybody good evening most importantly I always like a situation to greet my brothers in that lovely greetings, which is very, very important and key to me. Therefore, my brothers, my sisters in Islam, can I welcome you and say, Salam alaikum wa hamdulillahi wa barakatuh. My name is Dr. Ahmed bin Salahuddin. I am the Chief Servant Officer of Standard Group of Companies, including but not limited to signature global real estate. Signature global real estate has been in business since 2005. And for visionary reasons, Signature has moved to Dubai, where we have our headquarters, and associate offices around the globe. Signature is a company that is providing solution, giving advice, to investors who want to invest in real estate. We have been providing this solution for quite a while, and we are happy to continue. Our headquarters is in Dubai, our office in Business Bay, where our staff, we are having generality of people, at least majority of our staff speaking about almost over 10 languages, including, but not limited to Arabic, English, Hindi, Chinese, and many more. The idea is to give our teaming clients the opportunity of whatever language they want to speak. And this has assisted us tremendously. We were so delighted to do that. And you probably understand that majority of the developers we are dealing with they are so they are developers that they are financially secured such as ima damak sobha arada and many others you will see that these people, they have global spread. Therefore, if anybody gives us the opportunity to serve them, they are in good hands. Now, having said that, 
let me first and foremost, by tradition, if you come to any place, the first thing is to greet that country. I have the opportunity this evening to give thanks to the government of Qatar for giving, the, for giving us this unique opportunity to be here, particularly Doha. I appreciate that very well. Of course, many of us, new to the system, we had some challenges, but nevertheless, that is part of life. I'm happy that I was able to succumb that because I was almost a failure myself because of the quarantine. But all the same, we endure, and I give thanks to Allah, alhamdulillah, that I am able to attend this evening. Secondly, I think I have to give special thanks to the organizer of this particular event, that's World Cup. I take the opportunity to give kudos to Jesus, Moraine, and the team. You have done very well. And World Cup, let me say it, you have to congratulate yourself. And I will wish the audience to clap for them for what they have been doing. World Cup, I remember, we have had this type of occasion maybe over two years ago. I am happy. I was with you. In 2019 at, um, that's Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, yes. That organization was very colorful as well. But I think this arrangement is more colorful. Yes, I think it's more colorful. I appreciate. You see, the situation is everywhere there's a challenge. But when there's a challenge, what solution can you provide? World Cup provides a solution, even with the epidemic for two years or three years. They have started the uh, virtual video, everything. And to be honest, it was amazing. Therefore, Mr. Joseph, Maureen, the team, I congratulate you for thinking deeper to ensure that business continues. Having said that, your aims, your aspiration, I bow to it. Yes, I do. And that takes me to the issue of business globally. About three, four days ago, I was invited by another organization And we are talking about business. They gave me lifetime award of the Forbes. You know what it means, the Forbes organization. And we are talking. As far as Signature is concerned, we are looking into the possibility that Africa, Africa, it is very, very important. It's a good idea if majority of you can think about Africa to come and invest in Africa, particularly starting from Nigeria, South Africa, and many others. In Nigeria, for instance, I say it time without number. Nigeria is a blessed country, of course. There's a lot of misperception going on. 
Anywhere in the world today, there are challenges. Challenges are different. In Nigeria, we are blessed. Oil and gas, bitumen. In fact, Nigeria is having the biggest, largest bitumen deposit in the world. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that you are sitting down here today, I will invite you to Nigeria so that you can have the opportunity of how investment is. Nigeria is having a population of about over 2 million people. And they are very humane. Therefore, I am inviting you, and I've already told uh, the gentleman here, when this issue of pandemic is gone, I am inviting welcome to come to Nigeria. That would be very, very nice. And then you can meet a lot of business people there. Therefore, I we urge everybody to take this advantage. This time we are at the moment. It's a trying time, it's a trying period. But by the grace of God, I feel the epidemic will go, and then we are going to start what I can describe as a normal life. When that normal life comes, we as business, in conjunction with work up, I think we will all be better for it. Once again, I thank all of you very well. And welcome to Doha, Qatar. And whatever challenges anybody has seen, let us just look at it. It's normal life. The key issue is, if you are faced with challenges, can you find a solution? All of you, you are excellent. You have been able to find a solution to be here despite all the challenges. Uh, Mr. Jesus Maureen, let me once again thank you. You have done excellently well. And perhaps, not because I've seen your face, I've had the opportunity of attending so many organized business like this. I tell you, World Cup is number one. They will continue to remain number one, and I think they will continue to improve. Good luck to everybody. Clap for you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm just wondering whether I should allow my family, my director of operation, to come on stage. And I had something, maybe you have not mentioned it that Dr. Ahmed Salahuddin is going to be the ambassador of World Cup in Nigeria. Let me give you one assurance. Let me give you one assurance. Not only Nigeria, something in West Africa. Right now, Signature is planning big. We are planning big because we are now one of the strong members of UAE African Network. Therefore, we are looking forward for a very good business in Africa because the international market has been saturated. Therefore, you try to find your way to Africa. The one you have done in Europe and everywhere, I think is enough. Try to come to Africa, and if possible, your next port of call should be Nigeria. Long live Nigeria. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And once again, Salam Alaikum, Wahamtulilai, Wabarakatuh. God bless.
Thanks for your words, Dr. Salahuddin. Now let's continue with the award ceremony, presenting the BIS Award for Inspirational Companies. This recognition is aimed at companies that inspire their others with their impressive results and success. This category is based on number of employees and annual revenue. Inspirational companies are large companies that are known throughout their home country and many times known internationally with well-established brands, a clear and inspiring history. They are an example to follow. Internal communication and development is not hindered by the size of the company. In fact, these are coordinated resourcefully throughout the firm, resulting in some of the most efficient and admired processes and models known. These companies affect the economy on multiple levels and markets and always try to become a positive influence in the many lives they affect. These inspirational companies are innovators, pioneers, and visionaries who constantly reinvent themselves for every new generation. We present the Inspirational Company category. And now, please, let's welcome the Vice President of the World Confederation of Businesses, Mr. Michael Bellido, to the stage to hand uh, over the trophies to the business leaders recognized in this category. And, uh, of course, thanks to Nicolas Cafaro for his help. The first BIS Award in the inspirational category goes to, from Qatar, JTA Holding, we invite Amir Ali Salamizadeh, CEO, Masume Bagheri, Business Development Manager, Mariam Said Jamek Golam Sadeh, Executive CEO Assistant, Ali Abbas Jambi Sadeh, Human Resources Manager, Beruf Agaye Erbani, CEO of JTA Technology and Mubarak Salim Ali Abushraid, Member of the Board, I invite all of them to the stage to receive this important award in the inspirational category. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I would like to thank JTA team for the great support expand in COVID-19 and this team for organizing and managing a great event. Thank you. The next BIS award in the inspirational category goes to from United Arab Emirates, Signature Global Real Estate. And we invite Dr. Ahmed. Olaniji Salahuddin, Group President, Mrs. Tolulope Ahmed Salahuddin, Ojinda Raudad Ahmed Salahuddin, representing AstraZeneca, Hisham Hashim Hashim, representing Sinoform, Ahmed Mohamed Taufik Mustafa Basal, representing Sinoform, and Oladele Yodun Sakayos, representing AstraZeneca. Welcome to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category.
Uh, once again, I have to thank World Cup for this recognition. The recognition is not only for me, my family, or my staff as a whole. The recognition, once again, is for my country, Nigeria. I appreciate you very well. And this recognition for signature being the first time of coming to Doha. Thank you very much. And like I said earlier, World Cup team continue to do a good job. Thank you very much. God bless you. So we will continue with our next BIS Award in the inspirational category. And it goes to Qatar, Darwish Interserve Facility Management. We invite Mohamed Saadi, General Manager, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, a great honor uh, to receive the award uh, tonight today. Uh, I would like to express uh, my genuine gratitude to the uh, World Cup team and the uh, committee, the awarding committee for choosing uh, their wish and to serve as a, as a one of the inspirational companies in this category. I stand over here humbly on behalf of 2,000 employees receiving this for their dedication, commitment, and their efforts towards the excellence. Special thanks to our chairman, Mr. Yusuf Darwish, our CEO, Mr. Abdurrahman Darwish. Special thanks to the senior management over there. And special thanks as well to my family, my kids, who's watching right now the, this event. Thank you so much all, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next Peace Award in the Inspirational Category goes to, from Qatar, AI Integrated. We invite Anwar Al Mula, founder and CEO Global, Shabnum Mula, non-executive director Global, Tabasum Mula, non-executive director Global, Mr. Robert Katz and Asra Ibrahim, non-executive director Global, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Always aspire to inspire others. Uh, excellencies, President, Sir, my mentor, Dr. Sitaraman, and lovely people of uh, Co. Uh, World Cup family. Salam alaikum. Good evening. Um, AI Integrated is not a very old company, it's fairly a new startup. But the world was turned around in early 2020. And many of us had to think how to adapt to the new world that's coming. The world had been fast forwarded by 10 years. We might not realize it now, but if you think about it, it has. We're gonna have flying cars very soon. You're gonna have autonomous vehicles running on the road. We're decarbonizing the planet. And AI integrated a part or playing a huge part in this sector and the vertical. We specialize in artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and clean energy.
But all of this could not have been done on my own. I sometimes get told, Anwar, you send us messages at five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. That's because the first company that I opened was in Washington, DC, and they are seven hours behind, uh, behind Qatar. And then I opened AI Integrated Singapore, and they are five hours ahead of Qatar. So what time do I go to bed? As the global CEO looking to authorize, um, give approvals like Dr. Sitaraman does, I'm sure, every day, 50 times a day, they reach out to me and say, so we need your approval. So I gotta be awake till three, four in the morning, and that's the reason I, I go to bed so late. But we've come a long way in our very short tenure. We're only 18 months old. Um, and we've been awarded some really flagship projects. Um, there's a big event happening in Qatar starting next week. Um, and for the World Cup 2022, and we've been awarded a project or project directly from FIFA, Switzerland, and not from Qatar. And for a, for a new company, I think that is a a huge um, achievement. Uh, we, were, we were up against other companies, but we managed to take the project and support the, uh, the World Cup and the Arab Cup. Again, I couldn't have done this without my own. I always say that there is no I in the word team. Um, to all my people that are watching, all my fellow um, directors and co-partners, Chris in DC, hey Chris, um, thank you for everything that you do. Um, Rex in Singapore, um, see you soon, Rex. And um, we have partners or representatives throughout the world. And in South Africa, we have Christopher Thorpe, who's our representative in Moscow. We have Dathan, and they all are watching live now. So I'd like to thank you all. Um, and I want to tell you that you guys inspire me. And I want to thank you for believing in me and my vision for AI Integrated. You are very much part of it. You will always be part of it. Last but not least, I've got to thank my family. Um, they put up with everything I do. Speak softly in the meeting because we're sleeping. Um, um, can't you switch off the lights now because it's like three o'clock in the morning. But that's business and that's the business world. And we've reached that stage and we are growing. Very soon we'll be opening AI Integrated France, so that Europe, and then one in Africa, inshallah, uh, coming in early 2022. I want to say that we also uh, formed a recent football club, as in um, AI Inter A2I as the brand, um, Delta FC in Qatar, and we just entered a tournament, first time ever, so some social, you know, corporate social responsibility, and we didn't do too bad. It was our first tournament, we didn't do too bad, but I'd like to say thanks to the team for representing the brand with such passion. Results don't mean anything. The fact that you entered the tournament and you played against top teams you're a winner already. Um, I'd like to thank Jesus and uh, Daniel, Danny. Um, Danny, when he first met me, he says, here's a gentleman from the future, and I'll very, very quickly tell you why. I said to him that I don't plan to live on this planet um, after three years, I'm moving to Mars. So, and he said, why? And when I told him about the technology that I'm developing, and that's gonna be released, around first quarter of 2022, only then he believed me and he said, now I know why. I'm not gonna dwell too much into that, but all I can say is keep an eagle's eye for, on, on my company um, for what's coming out next year. More than less, more than ever, each and every one of you will use it um, in the new world today. But again, once again, Jesus, thank you for holding this in uh, Qatar. Um, we, we, we feel really honored. Uh, we feel very humbled by, uh, you know, this, this award, this accolade. Um, and to my team that have been part of it, uh, we want to tell you that this is not the last award. We ain't done yet. So prepare more trophies for us. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for your warm applauses. And uh, next, uh, this award in the inspirational category. Goes to Malaysia, Bestinet. We invite Mohammad Khailis Norman, director, and Abu Saad Khan, director, to the stage for receiving the, this important award in the inspirational category.
Um, good evening to everyone seated here tonight. On behalf of Bestinet Malaysia, I'm profoundly honored to be standing here. I'm indeed overjoyed that Bestinet is found worthy of receiving this award. This recognition will remind me of our team's effort into getting to where we are. It gives me so much joy that our efforts are not being overlooked. And I hope that every individual in our organization will feel the same. This, this award recognizes the big picture of, of what we do, who we are, and where we're going. And let it remain as a constant reminder that good work comes with unbelievable achievements. And thank you to those who made it possible. And thank you to World Cup and Biz Award for this recognition. The next Peace Award in the inspirational category goes to Bolivia. Siecher. And we invite Daniel Elara Rios, Engineering Manager, and Daniel Terrazas Zambrana, Project Manager from Siecher, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Thank you. Uh, uh, first, of, uh, first of all, I want to thank God for this meeting, despite of all of the difficulties and the pandemic. We are alive, we are healthy, we are here making new friends, making new leads to networking, and this is something worth to be uh, thankful. Finally, I want to dedicate this award to, to the people waiting for their miracle and say, miracles don't come along. Miracles only come with hard work and faith. So don't wait up for the miracle to happen. Get up and work for it. Thank you. Also, we want to thank World Cup for this award and everyone who works with us. Thanks Augusto, Rodrigo, Maritza, Juan Carlos, Bruno, Richard, Evilio, Javier, Cristobal, Max, Jason, Roy, Jose Maria, Ignacio, Julio, Clayton, and Frank. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. We have partners all over the world. God bless you all. Last but not least, we will eternally grateful to our families who support us every day. Ingrid, Matias, Catalina, Lynette, and my baby boy, Gonzalo. We love you all. We love you. The next visa award in the inspirational category goes to Malaysia, one universal production. We invite Alvin Lee Kwang Woi, CEO, Teong Suet A, Business Support Manager, Teong Suet Ping, Project Manager, and Wong Chan Hui, Personal Assistant, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to World Cup for the awards. Um, I'm from Malaysia, anyway. Thanks to my team, personally, always turning something impossible to possible. We did a lot of crazy stuff along the years. The world first Angry Birds water parks. 
the world's first Bruce Lee thematic rooms in the world, a lot of crazy stuff. But uh, nevertheless, I would like to thank my wife, right, for the support, and also my parents, my kids, and everyone here. Thank you so much. We hope to we hope to bring more happiness to the world, to our kids, and make sure that everyone is happy. Thanks. The next Visa Award in the inspirational category goes to from Kazakhstan. Security Agency Union Security. We invite Alatar Tsev Sergei Vasilievich, General Manager, and Alatar Tseva Tamara Ivanova, Ivanovna, Executive Director, to the stage for receiving this important award in the inspirational category. Hello, good uh, evening. We are from Kazakhstan. Business security, security safety businessmen. I am grateful to my wife and my husband for inviting us to this wonderful event. Thank you for the award. Thank you to all businessmen for the blessing. And to all of us, peace on earth. Thank you. Now, please, let's continue with the award ceremony, presenting the final category of the evening, the Biz Award to Entrepreneurial Category Companies. This is intended for medium and small companies that significantly contribute to the growth and development of their economies. Entrepreneurial companies have the capacity to be innovative, take chances, create, be flexible, and assertive. Many entrepreneurial companies are very unique. These develop the resources to supply a distinctive product or service to a specific market and put it in action. Their constant effort is highlighted in a free market economy. Their growth is a reflection of a devoted entrepreneur who is confident of their capabilities and an example for those striving to achieve success. Year after year, these companies have demonstrated just how important they are for the economies of each of their countries. We would like to take this opportunity to recognize their effort and emphasize how important they are to the business community and to the economy. We present the Entrepreneurial Company category. And the first visa award in the entrepreneurial category goes to from Mexico, Salsas Deshidratadas Chilcuí. We invite Ingrid Garces de Isla, Directora General, and Antonio Flores Infante to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. Hi, good evening, everybody. We would like to thank Work Up and God First for the privilege to be here and the privilege to receive this award. For it's a new compromises to be better, to be the best company in the Cirotatis products in Mexico. The difference in our products in Mexico is we are making sauces, but the Cirotatis sauces. It, it, is, it, it gives a plus to Mexico, we are exporting right now to Japan, Germany, and other places. And we are already winners on the 2012 for this agriculture secretary in Mexico. 
as entrepreneurs also. So we like to thank our family. I would like to thank my son, my husband for the support in stress times. And I will thank also to my company family that without them, we couldn't be here. So thank for this recognition, and we are glad to be here. And let me say some words to you in Spanish for the people from America Latina, that we are privileged to be here with them also and represent Latin America in Qatar. Thank Qatar for taking us as the hospitality that you give us. We are so grateful to be here and so grateful to know about your culture, your place where you're living, and thank you for sharing with us what you know. Eh, para mis compañeros de América Latina, es un privilegio estar aquí con ustedes. Agradecemos grandemente el poder compartir con ustedes experiencias, en especial Yuli, a nuestros compañeros por acá de Ecuador, de Bolivia. Agradecemos el tiempo que están aquí con nosotros compartiendo y creo que para nosotros es un privilegio como latinos el poder estar tan lejos al otro lado del mundo recibiendo este tipo de reconocimientos. Eso nos impulsa a ser mejores seres humanos. Comparto la idea de ser mejor ser humano para un mejor futuro, para un mejor mundo y en especial para ser un mejor país de México también. Creemos en los mexicanos, creemos en los latinos y creemos en todos nuestros hermanos de todo el mundo. Gracias a todos. Thank you all. God bless you, everybody. Buenas noches. Dios los bendiga a todos. Voy a ser muy breve. Primero que nada, eh, Ingrid, mi esposa, estoy orgullosísimo de ti. Gracias por ser quien eres y compartir la vida conmigo. Gracias. Y quiero compartir una frase que nos, yo creo, a mí me hace pensar mucho que leí de Víctor de Frankl, que dice, siempre que haya un para qué, no importa cualquier cómo. Es de Franklin, esa frase. If, if there is always a... Siempre que haya un para qué, uh, for what? For... no importa cualquier cómo. It doesn't matter. Whatever, <laughs> the next piece in the entrepreneurial category goes to from Peru, Clinica Núñez Villar. We invite Percy Jesus Núñez Villar, General Manager, and Monica Tripodi Villalba, Administrator, to the stage for receiving this important award in the entrepreneurial category. Bueno, muy buenas noches. Mi nombre es Percy Núñez. En principio agradecer a la empresa que nos ha premiado y realmente es un honor recibir esta premiación. Y la verdad que ha sido un gran esfuerzo venir hasta acá, a Qatar, donde el año que viene será el próximo mundial. Y realmente estamos muy felices de haber venido. Valió el esfuerzo. Estamos muy agradecidos también y muy honrados por la premiación que nos han brindado. Mi especialidad es la cirugía plástica, estética reconstructiva. No obstante, lo que nos da ánimo y placer a esta especialidad es poder brindar satisfacción a cada uno de nuestros pacientes. Ya increíblemente han pasado 25 años de todo este trabajo arduo. Y no puedo más que agradecer a cada uno de mis colaboradores que trabajan los 365 días del año con sacrificio, con constancia dando lo mejor de sí y que me acompañan paso a paso. Cada uno de ellos es muy importante en el emprendimiento que día a día realizamos. No obstante, también agradecer a mis queridos padres, que sin ellos, por supuesto, no estaría acá. 
y nada tan mejor que estar al lado de mis hijos, de mi esposa, que hoy me acompañan acá, de tan lejos, pero que han hecho que mi trabajo no sea trabajo, sino que el trabajo se convierta en algo digno y lleno de felicidad. Ellos son mi motor. Día a día me inspiran a ser cada vez mejor. A ellos muchas gracias, igual que a mis padres y a todos mis colaboradores. No obstante, también quiero agradecer a esta empresa que realmente nos motiva día a día a poder seguir siendo cada día mejores porque la premiación motiva. La premiación cada día que uno reciba algún reconocimiento, pues definitivamente es un, también un motor. Así que muchísimas gracias a Workups. Muchas, muchas gracias. The next BIS Award in the Entrepreneurial Category goes to Qatar, Master Group Trading and Contracting. We invite Mr. Fadi Rahir, CEO, to the stage for receiving this important award in the Entrepreneurial Category. Uh, good night, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for uh, receiving us here and joining us all together. Uh, tonight, I would like to uh, say uh, thanks to my family, uh, my country that uh, brought me here, and to Qatar that received us. And uh, we started the business here. And uh, since like a year, Master Group have started working in Qatar. And it was uh, really a great success for us to be here. And uh, also, I would like to uh, add a word in Arabic because I heard too many beautiful languages, especially the Latino that I like so much. So I decided to make part of my speech in Arabic to add a color to all the beautiful languages and people that was here. I want to thank the Qatar that we have been able to do it, and we have been able to do the crash that has happened in our country. And alhamdulillah, we have a project that is very big, and it can be the best, like the Six Stars Hotel Qatar, even the hotel that we are in, we have been able to do it, actually, we have been able to do it. But the Ishkul, my team, I will come back to English. I will uh, thank all my team in uh, Qatar, my partner, in Iraq also that we are acting in, and also in Lebanon and France. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening. Good night. And we have come to the end of the BIS hybrid. So congratulations to all of the winners. Let's give us, please, a big applause because you deserve your BIS winners. I hope you are enjoying this special gala for you. But we also want to name companies that they couldn't be with us. They are not present here tonight. So um, I want to name them. Uh, Caja Municipal de Ahorro y Crédito de Sullana de Perú, Droguería Rosfar de Argentina, Agencia de Seguridad Urraca de Panamá, Complejo Capibara de Uruguay, Colegio Online Latinoamérica de Chile, Empresa Municipal Rural de Electricidad, EMRE, Hot Stone Spa de Saudi Arabia, 24-7 Customer Philippines from Philippines, Crio Viva, from, uh, Crio Viva Thailand Limited from Thailand, East African Business Company Limited from Kenya, Organización Inmobiliaria La Aldaba from Colombia, West Dynam Dynamic Global from Malaysia, Advogadas da Inmigración Brazil, Another from Mexico, Bangladesh International Hotel Association from Bangladesh, Barros Barros Sociedad Agrícola from Portugal, Beyond 
from Saudi, Saudi Arabia, DJ Importaciones de Bolivia, El Nido Resorts, Filipinas, Escuela Primaria General Ignacio Zaragoza Club de Leones, número 10, from Mexico, Genius Soft, from Mexico, Golf Systems for Contracting and Services, from Qatar, Golson Clean Care, from Bangladesh, Inside Out, uh, from Peru, KBC uh, Bank from Myanmar, Leisure Car Rental from St. Martin, Lima Tours from Peru, Master Skills from Portugal, Max Capital Management Holding from Hong Kong, Meridian Hospitals Limited from Nigeria, Novatronic from Peru, On Strategy from Portugal, Formix Corp from Puerto Rico, Pinoy Street Food, United Arab Emirates, Rotana Media Services, United Arab Emirates. SC Elidor from Romania. Secure Me from Bahrain. Special Hospital for Addiction Problems, Dr. Borov Jeff from Serbia. Ten to Evento. Javes Holding from Panama. Tic Defense from Mexico. Yellowstone Business Consultants from United Arab Emirates. And YSL Engineering Technology from Malaysia. An applause for them. They couldn't join us. We hope to meet with them soon. Congratulations to all of these companies. They will be receiving their, their awards anyway in their respective countries. As we already mentioned by Jesus Moran earlier in the ceremony, the next DBC Russia will be held next year in Kazakhstan for the first time ever. I would like to invite to the stage Mr. Arman Karatuli Isagaliev, Ambassador of Kazakhstan to Qatar. Mr. Ambassador, His Excellency. Welcome, sir. Thanks for joining us. Dear Mr. Jesus Moran and Mr. Nicolas Gaffaro, dear members of the World Business Confederation, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be such beautiful event today. Let me welcome all the delegates of the Biz Hybrid Awards 2021 to Qatar today. And I want to congratulate all the uh, people who awarded by this. Uh, so it's a great honor and pleasure for me uh, to, for us, for Kazakhstan, to host this significant event and I hope to welcome all of you to Kazakhstan. Uh, this year we are celebrating 30th anniversary of our independence. So we are a very young country, but uh, very rapidly developing. Uh, the Kazakhstan is a leader of the Central Asia and uh, the, the biggest economies of the uh, one of the biggest economies of the former Soviet Union countries. So the, Kazakhstan has a great potential for doing business and for investment. Uh, as you know, uh, Kazakhstan is ranked 25th among uh, 190 economies in the ease of doing business. And during these three, uh, 30 years, Kazakhstan attracted 37, uh, $370 billion of direct investment. Kazakhstan is the largest land-locked country in the world. There are more than 5,000 deposits of mineral resources in the country, the estimated cost of which is said to be tens of trillions of dollars. The country is ranked first of the world on uh, explored reserves of uranium and zinc and tungsten and barite, second on silver, uh, lead and chromites, third on copper, and sixth on gold. Kazakhstan also has significant oil and gas resources and holds the ninth place in the world in proven oil reserves. reserves. Kazakhstan is among the world's top ten exporters of grain and is one of the leaders in flour, flour exports. At the moment, Kazakhstan is implementing a large-scale project 
titled New Silk Road that uh, envisions uh, the revival of the country, country's historical role as a major bridge between the two countries, uh, continents. It's also planned to trans transform the country into the largest business and transit hub in the region. The hospitality has also been the main quality of our culture. The beauty of our land and traditions have now become more accessible. So see you in Kazakhstan and welcome you all to my country. Thank you so much. Well, let's meet in Kazakhstan soon. And uh, well, congratulations to all of you. Um, for uh, a few closing words now, I, I would love to invite our friend uh, Michael Belido, Vice President of WorkUp. Please, Michael. Good evening to everyone here and to everyone watching us online. What an amazing night here in magnificent Qatar. We're back. We're back in Doha. We're back in person. And uh, as some of you must uh, remember, we had a great event here in Doha almost a decade ago. And tonight is our first in-person event after being stuck at home for so long. So this place will always be very special for us. I want to congratulate all the winners tonight. It was great to hear all of your speeches, and uh, it's too bad our director Nancy couldn't make it to the workshop today, but hopefully you got some inspiration from Daniel and Nicholas and uh, uh, Jesus this morning. I'm, I'm sure I did. Um, I want to give a special thanks to all of you. We feel very honored to have earned your trust after such a difficult year. Everyone has gone through different struggles, but you know, you've joined us. Uh, over the past year, either virtually or tonight, and you've really shown your resilience and your commitments to excellence. And uh, you know, we're very thankful for you ad adapting uh, to all these changes and going through all of the hurdles to make it here tonight. So thank you. We also want to thank the members who we see here year after year. Sometimes we see you multiple times a year. And we're very happy to see that you take advantage of all of the benefits that a World Cup membership offers. Because um, we, we aim to provide you with all the tools to help motivate your company and continue to success. And also, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of the new members, um, companies that are here for the first time. I hope you've connected with at least one other company tonight. And um, continue to learn about what we offer our members. Uh, I want to thank all of our staff members in person and virtually uh, for the incredible effort and logistics needed to produce tonight's event. And I want to thank you for your dedication to excellence. And I hope to see you at the next event. It's truly a privilege to see you here tonight. Congratulations once again. And please give yourselves a round of applause. Well, excellent. You know, just to close the event, we usually take uh, an official picture. Uh, I want just to, we will need a minute to set up the main stage. And uh, I, I will remember you that for the official picture, we need, we will call just one representative per company. Then we will, we, we will be able to take all the pictures that we want, but just for the official picture, one representative per company, please. Well, just a second, and we will prepare the stage.
We have an official official photographer over there. We need you to help them to take the pictures. It's okay. You just let us know when you are ready, please. Always ready. So remember, big smile. Seven percent words, and the rest is attitude. We are the winners. Come on, Nicolas. We are the champions. Excellent congratulations. A big applause for these winners. We are so, so, so happy to be once again with this hybrid but presential event at the end. Thanks to all of you.